need to get to the hospital. This is 15,000 Naira. Do you think it's enough for you to go for Antonata? No. I have to save every dime I get. Nelly! What? You have to go for Antonata. Please. What does pregnant woman do when you go see on the road? How many of them go for Antonata? Are you a mad pregnant woman? Hmm? Nelly, look at yourself. You look malnourished and dead on the fence. Don't worry about us. I'll be fine. You'll be fine. And what if you're not fine? It's, it, you, it's, my, it's not for your level. You might not like that place. Just tell me, just tell me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if you just go this way, yeah. there's a junction there, just to your left. You will see a very small buka. But, but it, it's not for your level, but their food is okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Madam stays out as long as possible. Yeah, I just wish that, you know, these customers can give us a break. Ah, a break. Mm -hmm. Customers can. Please, your customers should come home so that we can finish selling and go home early. Abby? She should have almost finished. Finish. They are still cooking. They are still cooking inside. Though. No way. Oh. Ah. <laughs> voila. You know what? No problem. I know what to do. I have the best remedy. I have the perfect way to relax my legs. So, I thought you said you wanted to relax some muscle. Yeah, so best way. You dance 
Thank you. Good evening, sir. Um, what, what would you like to eat? Rice. Okay. Uh, meat or fish? Fish. Okay. Um, would you like anything by the side? How about you choose for me? What do you, what, what do you suggest? Even if it's one wood. One wood? Yeah. It's one wood. I'll just get you your order. As long as it's not one wood. <laughs> The, uh, the other lady called you by name. Uh, sorry, my man is. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Rex. Hi. Hi. I'm the engineer in charge of that building, uh, the plaza over there. All right. I know the place. Yeah. So, I don't. I don't know if you might. Can we? Can we hang out? Like, can I get you a drink? I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't buy it. You know. I mean, like. Ever since I first laid my eyes on you, I thought it'd be nice to buy you a drink at least once or I twice. Maybe not now. Well, I hey, need to hey, go. hey, look, listen, I don't buy it. Okay, but... You know, um, and I promise I'll, I'll bring you back. I'm good. Listen, thanks. please, Nelly. I don't even know you. What if you're a kidnapper? What's I'm you... not. Look, I, I come here. Oh, no, we could still be a kidnapper. Nelly, trust me, please. Just once, okay? Just, just once. All right? Okay, fine, but I have to call my friend to let her know. Yeah, sure, fine, fine, that's fine. That's okay. mm -hmm. decided to come back home.
thought you said you were going to wait for me to close from work. Why were you sitting there in the car being so impatient? And I don't want to risk you escaping now. Yeah, right. Just admit that you're impatient. No, li listen, I'd rather wait than keep a woman waiting. Yeah, right. Keep blowing your trumpet, okay? Okay, I'm blushing. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I give up. Listen, you're just, you're just impossible. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's shall go. Okay. every day really hard and I work too so I was thinking that next time instead of us going out we could go back to my house and I make something for us to eat what <laughs> make something you cook I eat yeah anyway what do you say I don't know we just met does it feel like we just met no but <laughs> what listen I don't know it doesn't really matter how long people have known each other when everything seems right. I guess not. So... I'll think about it. Promise me you'll think about it? Yeah, sure. Really? Sure. Okay. I'll see you the day after tomorrow, okay? Okay. Um, I have to work tomorrow, so... Okay. You don't need to explain. It's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. So. Sure. just met him, remember? Nelly. Yes, I know you just met him. But he seems serious with you. Oh, please. Once he's done with his project, he's going to forget I ever existed. You think so? I know so. Then why is he inviting you over to his house if that is what he wants? Yeah, you have a point. Of course I do have a point. Nelly, you love this guy so much. I can boldly say you love him. How can I lose the one I just met? Hmm. Oh yeah, maybe I do like him, but he's so rich. So? You really think I should go? Yes, you should go. Oh, Larry. Um, let's see. I have something I'm waiting for you. Yeah. You leave alone? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, come. Let me show you the rest of the house. Sure. You like it? Very nice. Hmm? Oh, I like this thing too. I have, I have a lot of that upstairs. Do you like it? Of course. It's yeah. amazing. Nice. Okay. Come, let me show you the rest of the house. Oh, uh, 
Can I leave my bag here? Yeah, sure, of course. Yeah, of course. Yes, <laughs> Sorry. Of course. More of the paintings? Wow, I really honestly love paintings. Yep. Sorry, and this is the most important room in the house. Important? Yes. I thought you said it's the kitchen. No, it's my bedroom where there's a bed. You're naughty. I'm hungry. You promised to feed me. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Egg. That's the idea of cooking rice. It's a meal, isn't it? I don't think so. Just eat. Sure. I just have to convince my brain that um, this isn't all you've been doing for 30 minutes. <laughs> now eat 30 minutes? <laughs> Killing my ego. Come on. Oh well. Eat. Okay. No, what? Mm -mm, nothing. What is it, Nelly? You said you can cook. Nelly, you were supposed to pretend. Eat everything on your plates and praise my expertise in the kitchen. It's not my fault that you messed up noodles. That's it. I mess up any noodles. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I wanted to impress you. I guess I tried so hard. Oh, so now it's my fault? Yeah, you distracted me. Uh, wow, who? <laughs> no, admit it, Nelly. You distracted me. That's what happened. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Hey, should I feed you? Take. You think I'm full? Yeah. Good morning, Seva. Thank you. How about it? So you finally returned? Ah, sorry, darling. I thought you've resigned because of a man. <laughs> Is Madame back? Oh, she's not back, so you can as well go back. Stop, Joe. Nelly, why that smile? From the look in your eyes, you had sex with him. Shh. Whoosh! Well, yeah. I mean, there's no way I could stay in his arms all night and not. Mm -hmm. And what happened to your principle of dating a guy up to six months before having sex with him? No, it's my principle, isn't it? So, it be like that. Hey, if you go and sign in, I have to go check my results. Babe, mm -hmm. I want you to move in with me. What? Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't do that. I still work and the work is far from here. Maybe that's the reason I want you to move in. Every time you leave, I end up missing you. What are you saying, Rex? Listen, you said you wanted to register for IT training, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you could do that somewhere around here. Start right away. Start right away. Like I already have enough money to pay. I'm still saving. Yeah, but I'll pay now. No. Nelly, why do I have the feeling you don't want us to be together? Of course I want us to be together. Why would you even say that? You're too stubborn. You're too, you're too stubborn. See, I've made the decision for you. And there's no going back. You have no choice. Do you need a decision? Yes, I need it. Don't think about it. Think first. Okay. 
You're going to regret it if you don't accept. I don't know this. I mean, how am I supposed to be a man's mistress? Hey, girl. No one uses that word anymore. You will be his living girlfriend. I mean, look at him. He has everything. But I don't have anything. What if he gets tired of me? So? That guy is crazy about you. Yes. Just look at you. You are beautiful enough to stand before the president. Thank you. You're welcome. Look, I know you've made your decision on going, but just having this conversation just to tell yourself that I convinced you to go, right? <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> but do you, do you really think I should go? Yes. Go, Nelly. But don't forget me. How can I ever forget you? Are you <laughs> joking? You're my friend, my family, my everything. <laughs> don't forget that. I won't. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You just walked into my house with a key. Yeah, with the key my brother gave to me. I'm sorry. You must be Steve. Yeah, it's really flesh and blood. Oh, hi, Steve. Nice to meet you. I'm Nelly. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, your brother told me all about you. Are you just coming from school? Yeah, no, no, I, I went to my, my, my mom's place. Ah, right. Please come in. Uh, come in. So, uh, good to finally see you. Yes. I know my brother has good eyes and you know, you can think points to very, very... Stop, you're making me shy! Yeah, right. And that was my brother! Yeah, that was my brother! Hi, honey! Hey, baby. Hi, hello. How are you? I missed you. I missed you too. I see. Yeah, I see you like my brother. Yes, you didn't tell me he's a comedian. I'm sure you have a reason his life. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry, whenever I'm around, he can't seem to take his hands or eyes off me. <laughs> All right, let's go upstairs. Yes, <laughs> and you don't you move an inch, stay right where you are, okay? Stay there. <laughs> Bro, you good, bro? It's not bad, not bad. Yeah. Just okay. Nice one, nice one, nice one. So, oh. how are you? Just okay. Yeah. Nelly, huh? <laughs> I mean, she doesn't seem like your type of girl. Yeah, I know. Maybe that's why I like her so much. Huh? <laughs> well, she can cook. She's the very best, bro. Okay. I'm telling you. Did my brother just say this about a woman? <laughs> Don't be too shocked. It happens to the best of us. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So how's school? School, school is just stressful. You know what? You should call mom though. You should call her. She's worried about you. And she doesn't even know if you're around or not. Yeah, I wanted to. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do that. Yeah. We just wanted to get settled first. So. Hmm? Who's we? Nelly and I. Okay, what's happening to my brother? This is not the overbearing, street boring. Yes, I know. Exactly. You have nothing to thank for that. What for? 
Give me account number. I want to send you money. I want to place you on an allowance. I said I was going to give you money. I will not be your kept woman, okay? Baby. You're taking this thing seriously. Come on now. It's okay, listen. No. No, no, no. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's talk now. There's nothing to talk about. I didn't, I didn't mean it that way. I will not be bought. Okay. I'm sorry. All right? Mm -hmm. Huh? You're so cute. <laughs> Come and join me, bed. I'm sorry about that, all right? Take this box and put it in. Come on. Hey, come on. So, this Mary, she cooks. Mommy, her name is Nelly. And yes, she's the best cook I've ever encountered. No offense. Not taken. <laughs> I don't have a problem with it when anyone complains about my cooking. Mom. As a matter of fact, I'm tickled by it. I mean, most hotels have male chefs. I wonder why men think women need to cook for them. <laughs> anyway, this um, girl, um... Who is she? Who is her father? Nobody, you know. Okay. Her mother? Well, my parents are deceased. They're late. She's got no family. And if you're asking if her family is so important and talk about wealthy, then no. Oh, I see. Anyway, mm. I think. Let's host a cocktail party. Mom, why do you want to host the party? Honey, you're almost 40 and you don't even have a girlfriend. It's an excuse to meet beautiful women. Well, I just told you about Nelly. She's not important, dear. Okay, you know what, Mom? We're not hosting any party. I'll invite Nelly over for dinner tomorrow and then you can get to meet her. Why do you insist I meet this person? Mom, because I want you to. I promise you, you'll like Nelly. Without it. Alright, well, I have to rush now, okay? I'll see you later. Alright? This is leaving in paradise. <laughs> Girl, I feel like Cinderella. I keep waiting for the clock to strike 12. Girl, this is real life. Enjoy your fortune. <laughs> Anyways, I need your help. Mm -hmm. What's up? What's wrong? I, I need money. Okay, for? I need to be in school next week. And I don't have enough money. Time is short, Nelly. Okay, um, well, you know I saved up some money now, so I could just give you that. Nelly. What? How can you be dating a stingy guy? Stingy? Yes. Rex is not a stingy oh, guy. Oh, Rex is stingy. If Rex is not a stingy guy, why isn't he giving you money? Because I don't want his money, okay? I'm not with him because of his money. I'm with him because I love him. Girl, you need to shine your eyes. Stop all this your holy shit and smarten up. Do you want the money I've saved or not? Um, I'll just give your money. It won't be enough, Sha. <laughs> See? <sighs> you shall collect. <laughs> Guess who's not an undergraduate? Ah, ah. Well, <laughs> Yes, so you said you didn't want that. <laughs> you have to be very smart. Though. Shine your eyes. Drink your juice. Who's it? Hey, 
Hey, honey, how you doing about it? You can see it's a troll. Look at you. This guy, that's a Mama! Look at me. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. Mom, uh, this is Nelly, my woman. Mm -hmm. Nelly, this is my mom. Oh, it's so lovely to meet you, Ma. I've heard so much about you. Now I know where the boys get their gorgeous look from, and I know why they look so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why is that? Um... I mean, because of you, Ma, you're so beautiful, Ma. I see. Well, dinner is ready. Yeah. Let me tell the cook you're here now. Oh. So let's sit down. Thank you, Ma. So, Mary, where did you meet my son? Mommy, her name is Nelly. He met me at a restaurant, man. I was arranging chairs and, um, Yes, gorgeous looking man walks in. Arranging chairs. If you say anything, I'll kill you. <laughs> Wait. You walk in a restaurant. Yes, ma'am. Why? Aren't you a graduate? Oh, um it's like a university. No, I I mean why call that man. But I'm actually doing my IT training, nothing to worry about, no cost for that man. Um Ma, thank you so much for raising Rex so well. Thank you, Ma. Of course I raised him well. Rex, dear. Yes, Ma. Amelia has been asking after you. Do you know she has expanded her chain of stores? She wants to meet up and discuss business and pleasure. Mom, um, I'm having all the pleasure I need right here. You know your mom still does not like me, right? It'll be fine. She'll have no choice. You think so? Yeah. When she sees how serious I am with you, she'll definitely have no choice. Serious with me? Mm-hmm. Very serious with you. Nelly. Yes? Marry me. Are you asking me or telling me? I can't picture life without you. So yes, I'm telling you to marry me. And you have no choice in the matter. <laughs> You're going to marry me. Now let's see if this fits. Beautiful. Yeah. I have impeccable taste. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I love you. I love you too. And thank you for accepting to be my wife. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Did I agree? <laughs> Girl, can you believe it? He proposed. <laughs> I'm actually not surprised. You're not? No. Ever since both of you met, two months ago, he never let you get off his sight. He feels so scared, thinking you're going to leave him if he ever blinks. I know, right? <laughs> I actually thought it was my imagination. <laughs> That's amazing, right? Come here. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. This calls for celebration. I know. Drinks on me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Should I go get yeah. up? We just get ready for it. Just get dressed, let's go.
Welcome, Mark. It's so good to see you, Mark. Thank you so much for... Please. Enough of your act. It's nauseating. My act. <sighs> what is it? Three million naira. What for? It doesn't even have any name on it. I don't know your name, and I don't want to know it. Write whatever you want on it. Take the money and disappear. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Maybe I'm not really getting this clearly. You want to pay me off to leave Rex alone? I want you to take it and go. Is this really what your son is worth? Three million eh? If you want to negotiate, I have no plans of paying you more than that amount. Even if you work in that your booker for 10 years, you won't see this kind of money. Yeah, you're right. Even if I worked there for 10 years, I would not see this kind of money. But um, the thing is, I love your son. And I feel like that is priceless. But why can't you just see this and accept it? <laughs> Never. Now listen to me, you this cockroach. <laughs> What's funny? Nothing, ma'am. Are you making fun of me? No, it's just it's been such a long time since I've heard anybody refer to another human being as a cockroach. That's because it's a long time you met anyone like yourself. <laughs> My dear, you are nothing. You're a nobody. And my son is everything. I will not allow him end up with someone like you. Someone like me. I'm a good person. The only difference between both of us is that you have money, but that doesn't make you superior and me inferior. I love your son, ma. That should be all that matters. Of course you love him. What's there not to love? You're his mother. Of all people, you should want his happiness. And he's happy, I make him happy, and he makes me happy too. Why can't you just let us be and just please give me a chance? Enough of all the stories. Take the money and go. No. Take it. No, ma. Don't say I didn't warn you. Why can't love just be enough? Girl, yeah, that's how the rich are. It's all about social strata for them. Who you know and who your parents are. I don't know. I love him and that should be all that matters. So what are you going to do? I'll just keep loving my man. Hopefully his mom comes around. Rex loves you. And that's all that matters. to hide this for me. Steve. Yeah. Are you in my room? Yeah. 
how you doing? Want to have a sip? Your brother is not here. Yeah, I, I actually came here to speak with you. With me? Mm -hmm. How about? You want to have a sit? <clears throat> so? Nelly, you, you know that I like you. Right, thank you. <laughs> How much will it take for you to leave my brother? How much is it gonna cost for you to leave him? Steve. Yeah. You too. I'm just asking. Tell me. Just tell me. Really tell me how much. I'm not for sale. Get out. What is this? Let me take the money. Take what money? Take the money. Please, Steve. I don't honestly. Just get out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm sorry, please, just, please don't hate me. Steve, what is it? What have you done? I... Please, just, just, just tell me you, you won't hate me, please. Tell me now. Okay, it's, 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 a, it's about Nelly. What happened? What did you do to her? Okay, just, just calm down, okay? Just calm down, I... <coughs> I, I... I need you to listen. Okay, all right, fine, talk. Okay. Okay, the thing is, you, you know she's a beautiful lady and oh, she, she, she kind of likes me and uh, I, I, I like her too. But trust me, I, I would never do, I would never think of hurting you, brother. I, I swear, I swear. Steve, get to the point. I swear, it happened just once. Just that once. Once what? She seduced me. What? What? Yeah, yeah, bro. I, I know I should have resisted her way at her, but I didn't, and I am so sorry about that. But I swear it was just that once. Steve, are you telling me you slept with Nelly? Just once. Just once, bro. So why are you telling me now? Well, uh... Something bad just happened. What happened, sir? Did you, did you did you kill her? No, 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 of course, no. I did not do that. It's just that. Okay. She's on her way to your office right now. This is the thing, brother. I my conscience was killing me, so I came to the house to explain. I would rather to explain to you, but I, I did not meet you in the house, so I told her that I was going to confess to you what's happening, and then she begged me not to. Then I refused. And she ran out of the house telling me that. She was going to come lie against me that I violated her. And trust me, brother, I swear I didn't violate her. I swear I would never do that to anybody. Rex? Bro?
Corax, you must help me. Your brother, he tried to rape me. How could Steve... How could you accuse Steve of trying to rape you? I swear. He tried to rape me just now. <laughs> you know, this maybe I could have forgiven you for sleeping with my brother, but, but you... Steve. Me. I did not sleep with your brother. He tried to rape me. You see this thing you're doing now? Accusing Steve of trying to rape you, that I can't forgive. This this charade, this I, I can't forgive it. Why would you even say something like that? When when when, when Steve called me and, 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 and told me what you were planning to do, alright, because because he wanted to confess to what both of you have been doing behind closed doors, I didn't believe him. I didn't believe him until you rushed in here doing exactly what he said you were gonna do. did not sleep with your brother. He tried to rape me and I, I fought him off. You fought him off. Bravo. You fought him off, right? Bravo. What are you doing this? You must make him pay. I will. Oh, I'll, I'll make Steve pay, all right? After I let you go. What? I could have given you everything, Nelly. The moon, the sun, the stars, everything. But I mean, obviously, that's not good enough for you, so just go. Max, what are you saying? You disgust me. That's what I'm saying, Nelly. Leave before I call security. Please. Just go. Yes, please. Go, Nelly! Get out now, Nelly! Yes, it's me. Nelly, get out. I'm gonna call security. Just get out of my office. Get out. Out, Nelly. Thank you. on you. Okay? I don't want to ever set my eyes on you. I could kill him, you know. <laughs> How could he? How could he do this to me? <laughs> he didn't even believe me. He wasn't even there to protect me. <laughs> It's okay, Nelly. Nelly, I'm so sorry. 
I'm sorry, Nelly. <laughs> you don't deserve me. It's okay, Nelly. <laughs> You should call him. And tell him what? Maybe talk to him again. No. 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 Nelly. Did you say no? Yes, I said no. Nelly, you were pregnant. And with no money. Well, I guess maybe the clock has struck 12 midnight then. Well, you should give him another chance. Are you joking? Are you kidding me? God, you need to see the way that he looked at me. Like he hated me, like... Like I'm nothing. Going back to talk to him would just hurt me the more and I'm not ready for that. Okay. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. Can I stay here? Of course, Nelly, you can stay. This is your home. You can stay here. It's just that all the money you gave to me, I don't have it again. Or did you manage to get any more money from him? I don't need his money. Nelly! I don't need his money. I was fine before him and I'll be fine after him. Oh yes, I know you were fine before him and you'll be fine after him. But Nelly, we are talking about you, your baby. Think about it. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Sweet leaves, yet you're still dumb. I believe someday you will know what you mean. You don't have to feel it though, cause I'm not coming back. You played my heart and took me for a fool. I don't know if this is reality. Cause it's so hard to forget what we share, oh baby. I have one question for you. Okay. Why? Why my brother? I didn't do it. He's lying. I did not do it. And you're telling the truth? Of course I am. You know me. Please, don't disgust me. Sunday. Sir. What are you um. doing? What are you doing? Sunday. If I see this thing in this compound again, consider yourself fired. Do you hear me, Sunday? No, 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 don't touch her. She's not even worth it. Are you still standing here? Please go. Get out! Get out. Get out, please! I never knew that you saw the hand from the start You've been seen in the face and in every place All I thought about was the time we shared came to check on you. You came to check on me? I'm fine, thank you. Now get out. Oh, please. I, I mean, please. Don't, don't let me hit you, Steve. But, 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 I'm sorry, no. I'm, 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 I heard you, Steve. <sighs> Wait, my keys. But your keys? My keys. Here are my keys now. 
Steve, just give me the bunch of keys, will you? Thank you. Thank you. For what it for what it's worth, I, I'm really sorry and I just Yes, sir. Thank you. You can go get out of my house. Thank you. I sent you a message. You didn't reply. Yeah, that's because I didn't read them. What was it about? What do you want? Well, my, my school project. Uh, I need some money. I need my PA. She'll sort you out. Okay. Yeah, from now on, anything you want, just contact my PA. I don't want to ever set my eyes on you again. I understood. Okay. I'll get out. Just get out. Wasting away, and you know it's not good for you or the baby. You're right. I'll stop moving. Find something to do. <sighs> something to do? Something like what? I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. You know what? Let me just let me just go talk to him. I'm telling you what. Nelly, what are you talking about? You will do no such thing. Promise me that you will never tell him about the baby. Nelly. Yes. Promise okay, fine, me. Fine. I promise. I promise I won't tell him. But, girl, I don't like this. I don't like it either, but it is what it is. This is the situation we find ourselves. We might as well just adapt. It's okay. It will be fine. It's okay. To be fine, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Madam Flem is at the gate. Favor. Favor. Yes, sir. Hello, I am. Okay. Favor. Ever considered the fact that your brother lied to you? Have you ever considered the fact that your friend lied to you? Oh, I know Nelly. Okay, so tell me this. What reason would Steve have to lie to me? Because he wanted you to throw Nelly out of the house, just as you did. Oh, Steve is not like that. Oh, I hear. He's not like that. I mean, even if he wanted Nelly, he will never do anything to jeopardize his relationship with me. Max, I know he lied. Do you know how old Steve was when our father died? He was seven. So I'm not just his brother, I'm like a dad. That's how he sees me. Until your friend starts telling the truth, I don't want to hear anything about her. Well, I guess we're done talking to each other. Yes, we are. Oh, I you I always 
much time, it's all you needed was a hand to lean on. Pretty face, sweet knees, yes, you are still dumb. I believe someday you'll open up what you miss. You don't have to feel it though, cause I'm not coming back. You played my heart and took me for a fool. I don't know if this is reality. Cause it's so hard to forget what we shared, oh baby. Stay out. We will be fine. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming! So because of one useless girl, you want to kill yourself? Mom, please, please, stop. Just stop, stop what? You've cut yourself off from everyone. You don't talk to your brother. You don't talk to me. Nobody. It's my life. Come off it. You're better than this. You won't let a girl come between you and your family. Your brother has always looked up to you. He slept with my woman. And he's sorry. He's very sorry. Pam, I don't want to talk about this, please. Please. Listen, I appreciate you looking after me, all right? I apologize for shutting everybody out. So, you call your brother? I'm not going to call him. I mean, if he calls me, I may pick, but I'm not going to call him for what? <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Emilia asked after you. What do you think, eh? Um, I could uh, invite you to dinner and invite her to. What do you think? No, listen, I'm not looking for any relationship with a woman. That's the last thing I'm on my mind right now. But, uh, Amelia, you've known her all your life now. Mommy, so... mommy, please, please. You need to stop promising that girl things you will never fulfill. Okay. Thank I'll, you. I'll keep quiet for now. Thank for you. now. Thank you. Have you had your bath? Of course I've had my bath. What a nice man. Have you eaten? I've eaten all my baby. You don't need to. Do you want something? What will you have here? Bachelor's bath. <laughs> stressing me a bit. I'm coming.
Steve, what are you doing here? I, I, I came to check on you. Steve, I've forgiven you. Oh. But you can't waltz in here like you, please. Uh, Things are not the same as they were before. Uh, I'm trying to forget. You being here doesn't help. Okay, uh, I, I understand. But are, are you, are you okay? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so I'm, I'll leave. Your friend did something bad. I saw Nelly today. And? Nelly's pregnant. Huh? She said the baby is not mine, so I think it's yours. No. No, ne ne never. Ne ne never. Never? Yeah, never. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very sure. I'm very sure the baby can't be mine. So why would she say it's not mine? I. Do you think maybe she, she probably. You know, maybe it's left with another man. You know? Nelly didn't sleep with any other person. She's not that kind of girl. I see. I don't know why she slept with you, but she wouldn't sleep with another man. That's sure of that. Uh, I... Then the baby's yours. Why she so mad at me? 
she's acting like I was the one who wronged her. And she wronged me. You both did. And I'm trying to let it go. Sorry about that. What 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 do you want to do now? I try to see her. I need to talk to her. Yes, sir. I never knew how much until I set my eyes on her again. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm really sorry, and I I really do wish I can I can undo things. I should I should go. Decided to come with me at last. Mom, Nelly is pregnant. Who is pregnant? Rex saw her. She is heavily pregnant. So? So what? Mama, she's carrying your grandchild. <laughs> oh, please. That kind of person could be pregnant for anyone. No, no, no. Rex is responsible. Forget Rex. He's too gullible. Mom, it's been months already. Rex has not forgotten her. He still loves her. He still hurts him. We need to come clean. Never. What? Okay, okay, mom. I need to ask you this question, right? Now. Is it like you don't you don't care about my brother at all? Is it like you don't care about your son? I care about him, and that's why I'm trying to protect him. Protect him from what? From that girl. She's a gold digger. Yes, she, she's not trying to rip him over the pregnancy. Come on, see. Hmm. If Nelly runs away with Rex's baby, she, 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 he's, he's never going to forgive us, though. So. <laughs> you're, you're laughing. So tell me, what exactly do you want to do? Tell him? Yeah. Have you considered what he'll do to you? Well, I'd rather him hate me than me watch him suffer. I forbid you from telling him. You owe me. What? No. Mom, I owe you nothing. You destroyed my relationship with my brother. I made him forgive you. Oh, it seems you've forgotten. We were close, Mom. No, we were very close. But guess what? You destroyed that. So don't ever tell me that I owe you something anymore. Because I owe you nothing. <laughs> This girl wants to ruin my family. What do you want? Nelly, I come in peace. Get out. It's obvious you need taken care of. Take the money so you don't have to suffer anymore. I don't need your money. I was fine before you came into my life. And I'll be fine after you're gone. So get out. Nelly. Rex, yeah. just ignore her. Um, can I have the check with her? Are you joking? What are you talking about? How do you expect us to receive money from this man after everything he's put me through? Everything I put you through, Nelly, you slept with my brother. Also, who might disturb your brother then? Leave me alone! I won't do what I can't. Nelly, listen, I give you everything. I give you my heart and you tore it into shreds. You gave me your heart. Do you even have a heart? Rex. Do you even have a heart? Just leave me alone. What is this? Listen, 
I want to, but I can't. Uh, yeah, Rex, I think we just have to go. Nelly, I've forgiven you. Come home, let me take care of you and my baby. You've forgiven me. You forgive me. Okay. Well, I don't forgive you. I will never forgive you. And now that we're talking, fine. This baby right here is not yours. So leave me alone. Get out of my life. Get out! Come on. Next, let's just go. Get out! It's okay. It's okay. Gosh, I've not gone through enough stress already. Oh, God. Please, not a single word about this. Get something like that. How can you ask me to move back in with him? Nelly, I'm just thinking about you and the baby. He kept you in this. It's his responsibility. Let him take care of it. Do you even have any idea how much it hurts to look at him? Girl, I know you're hurting. But you need to be alive first. You need to look at yourself. Look, you don't see yourself. Nelly, you are sick. And you have refused to go to the hospital because you're saving every cobra just to help this child. We'll be fine. Assuming you stay alive and have the baby. What next? How are you going to feed yourself and the baby? We'll be fine. No, you will not be fine. Nelly, think about yourself. The baby. Your future, Nelly. How can I live with him every day? Think of it this way. I know it will hurt you living with him. But you're already hot and even while you know with him. Look, if you live with him, you will make him fall in love with you. And when he falls in love with you, it will be his turn to get hot while you walk away. Yes, I, I don't think I want to hurt him. Okay, I, I, I don't want any of that. I, I just want to forget. You can stay with him. I don't think I can do that. Nelly, you can do it. You will do it. He was stronger than you believe. Spend his money for you and his child. But this time, you will milk him. Yes, milk him for all his worth. <sighs> you have a point. I mean, do you already think so low of me? I might as well just do what they say I am. Yes, girl. So, wipe your tears and get prepared. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah? Hold on, I'm coming. Who is it? Um, hi. 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 Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm here to see you. Oh, okay. Come in. Come in. Thank oh. you. Nelly, someone is here to see you. Who? Nelly! Who? Oh, uh, just uh, come. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here to go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Come on, come over here. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. Steve, what, what are you doing here? I... <clears throat> I came to talk to her. About what? Yeah, what do you want to talk to her about? You told me the baby's not yours, you were so sure. Yeah, he told you guys that you believed him, right? You believed him? So what are you here for? The baby's not mine. How are you so sure about that? 
He said the baby's not his. Ask him how he's so sure. Ask him, damn it! Uh, Steve, how are you so sure the baby's not yours? Accidents happen. The condom could have broken. Oh. Cat's caught your tongue now? Steve. We... We didn't have sex. What are you talking about? I never slept with her. You told me she seduced you. I lied. Okay, I, I lied. You, you what? You lied? Mom, mom, mom put me up to this, all right? I mean, she said if I didn't do it, she's going to tell you bad things about me. I am not going to do you it. You will do it. No, no, mom, I'm not going to do it. You will do it. Tell me. What? what? Yes. Last year, when you messed with drugs, who was there for you? Who took care of you and covered it up? I kept it from Rex. No, my mother. I did. No, my mother. I mean, that's what mothers do. You are my mother. Oh. Yeah. And what do you think would have happened if Rex had found out? He would have washed his hands off you. Steve, you will do this. You owe me. Mom, um, if I do this, Rex will not only hate me forever, I mean, he will never forgive me. I'm going to lose him forever. You will not. He will just be angry with you for a while, then. He will even thank you later. You really don't know him that well, do you? Rex is my son. There is no way, there is no way I'm going to let him waste his life away with that gold digger. But when the consequences finally start coming, don't forget that I did try to warn you. It will be fine. Trust me. Mom put you up to this. Yeah. I wasn't going to leave her. I was never going to. I was meant to make it look mm -hmm. as if I wanted to. Then she was going to tell you that. Well, I mean, she was going to tell you what I tried to do. Then I would tell you that she lies trying to protect herself. Trust me, if. I could rewind time, if I could take back time, I wouldn't have done it. And I am really sorry for him. Steve. Steve! I'm sorry. I'm sorry now. Larry. No. Larry. I told him that you were going to make him pay for trying to hurt me. He told me that you will not believe me. I told him that you love me and that you're the only person in this world who I could run to. Lily, I'm sorry. Please. Rex. Of all the people that I could run to, you were the number one person I thought I could come to who would believe me, who would hold me and tell me that everything is going to be all right. But I'm sorry. You know, on that day, I just found out that I was pregnant. I was excited. And nervous at the same time, but I was happy that I was pregnant with your child. Lady, listen, please. I'm sorry. I mean, I thought he was my brother. I never knew he would do something that terrible. He'd always seemed to like you. How was I to know that he would do something so despicable? But you thought. And you believe that I would, right? Right? Please just...
encore. Elle est allée. Elle est allée, How could you destroy someone else's life all in the name of protecting your child? What if she was yours? Max, you do not have children, so you do not understand. If you did, you would understand that you do anything to protect your children. You're not protecting me. You're protecting yourself. Listen, just pray nothing happens to Nelly or my baby. Don't talk to me like that. I'm your mother. I don't want to ever see you again. What? You should be happy that I'm not disowning you. And you, hey, you, hey, if what she was blackmailing you about was the drug issue, don't bother. I knew about it already. Oh. Yeah, I knew about it. The only reason I didn't say anything was because I realized you didn't want me to know. Okay. Now, both of you, stay away from me and my family. Stay away. Congratulations, man. You finally did it. I mean, Rex is right. You are just protecting yourself. I mean, you're always jealous when someone other than you is closer to both of us. I mean, you even hated the fact that both of us are closer to each other than we were with you. Talking rubbish. Am I? Am I really talking rubbish, mother? I mean, isn't that why you hate Nelly so much? You hated her because she and Rex are closer to each other. They have to love each other, and you can't compete with her for love for Rex's attention. He's my son! Because I know he's your son, Mama! I don't know what anyone has done to you, whatever happened to you, to make you so insecure that you have to break everyone apart, but... Congratulations. You have done it. You heard him. I should stay away from them. Stay away from his family. Thank you, Mama. And now I'm going to tell you this. I mean, I paid your debts now, so we're both good. I'm going to tell you this. I don't ever want to see you again. Do you need anything? Fine. Okay. <clears throat> Nelly. I'm really sorry for not trusting you enough. It's okay. This is your brother. No, 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 that's no excuse. I was your first. I should have trusted you. It's okay. I've forgiven you. You have? Yes, I have, of course. I mean, you've been on this for the past four days. I've been in the hospital. It's okay. Hmm? Thank you, Nelly. I don't know if I would have forgiven you if I were in your shoes. What's wrong? Rex. Yeah. What is wrong? Nelly. Are you marrying me because of... My baby? No, no, how can you say that? You were wearing my ring. <laughs> it's okay. I was just teasing. 
Where is your sense of humor, bro? Well, I guess you ran away with it. It left when you were not here. Now that you're back, I'm hoping it comes back. <laughs> you better come back. Else, me and you will put our legs inside one trouser. Ah, I like to see I knew you were going to get there. Oh my gosh, you're so nutty. <laughs> Why did I not even think about it? <laughs> yeah. I love you. I know. You do? Mm hmm. I mean, the fact that you were willing to take me even after you thought it was another man's baby. That's when I knew. And I was desperate, man. I never knew how much I missed you until I saw you again, man. And I was willing to do anything it took to get you back. I love you. I love you too. Um, Who told you it's a girl? <laughs> it's still so tiny as a pregnancy. I know it's a girl, man. She's gonna be as beautiful as you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's that little warrior of yours? He's asleep. He's with his nanny. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. I know, right? Who's that? Um, no one. Who? No one. It's no one. Your mom? No one. Rex. Rex. Mm. For three years, neither you nor your brother has reached out to your mom or even spoken to her. Talk to her. And just let things go. I'll let it go. You haven't. Hmm? Neither you nor your brother have spoken to your mother. In three whole years. Well, that's not my problem. Is it now? I'm a mother now. I mean, I might not be the kind of mother that does the kind of things that she did, but still, I understand her pain. But, you know, she went out of her way. It's okay. It doesn't matter now. You know the worst part about all of this? If you don't talk to her, your brother Steve will never talk to her. Fine. Fine what? I'll call her. Now. Right now. Oh. Speak of the devil. Thank you. Thank you. Rex. Hello, Mom. Is that you? How are you? I'm fine now. Yeah. Well, Nelly and I were wondering if you'd like to see your grandson. I'd love that. Yeah, yeah okay. We were, uh, okay, yeah, we were thinking we should have dinner at your place this evening. Very much. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell Steve. Thank you, son. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. This 
is reality Cause it's so hard to forget what we shared, oh baby Oh, we treat you right Cause all I ever did was loving you I hope I treat you right Cause all I ever did was love you I never knew that you saw the hand from the start You've been singing goodbyes and I never listened All I cared about was the time we shared You don't have to feel it though, cause I'm not coming back You played my heart and took me for a fool I don't know if this is reality Cause it's so hard to forget what we shared, oh baby